How y'all doing? It's Paw Paw again. Woo! What a pretty day today. Oh, it's going. It's first day of spring. Or spring's supposed to hit late this evening or something like that. But anyway, it's gonna be 60 something degrees. Sunshine and blue skies. Man, it don't get no better. Anyway, what I wanted to show you today is an item that in my opinion, if you own a front end loader of any kind, tractor, backhoe, dedicated loader, whatever, this item is something that you, it's a must have. It's just a must have, you gotta have one. And uh, I'm gonna show it to you here in just a second. But here's why you need this item. It's called a hydraulic cylinder lockout, a safety lock, I don't know. Anyway, back home my dad had bought, it had one built in. Just pulled a pin, it's, it's, it fell in place, you pinned it and it stayed. But this backhoe don't have it. I got on Google and looked and looked, looked, the hell I couldn't find none of them. So, I'll show you what it is. And the reason for it is when you're needing to when you need to work on your backhoe. Like I'm, you know, I put this new radiator in there. I got to put my transmission cooler up front. Then I got to put that plate across the front down here. And my radiator guard up front here. And the thing of it is, there ain't no room for a fat man. And there ain't hardly no room for a skinny man neither. But you can't just raise your bucket up. Because, what if it falls down? Now, I've owned old equipment. I've owned some wore out pieces of equipment where if you had a load of gravel in the front dipper, and you raised the... <laughs> if you had you a dipper full of gravel or sand or whatever, you had it raised up, it just drift down on you. Well, you know, more cylinders get wore out. Well, the idea here is whenever I raise this dipper up, this or this front end loader, dipper is what we call the backhoe. Well, when I raise this front end loader up, up in the air, I want it to stay there. And I don't want it to fall on me, especially if I'm out here working by myself. So I'm gonna show you this little jewel. I'm gonna install it. And uh, at the end of this video, it'll be about seven or eight minutes where you actually see me manufacture it, okay? So let me uh, let me get my camera set up, and get this backhoe fired up, and we'll show you what's what. Now, with this installed, that bucket cannot come down. And I'd like for you to see, just look how much room we've got now, when we can get in there and do whatever we need to on the engine. 
it was a pain in the rear end over there in the woods over there in the tree line to do all the work I did on this without having that bucket raised up. All right. Well, let's go see how I made this thing. Well, folks, I gotta tell you, this right here 
Sure is going to be a lot easier to put together than it was to take apart. Man, I, all that work I did on this thing, and if I just cranked it up, put me a daggum lock on this, I'd have had all the room in the world. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Uh, anybody that's got a front end loader, or any kind of backhoe, or some kind of hydraulic equipment that you need to make sure it won't fall on you, you need to build you one of them things. Well, I appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos. I'm going to get this thing put back together. We got us a driveway we got to fix and some holes to dig. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll bet it tomorrow. Bye, everybody.